Hey, I, I appreciate your time today. I know it's a very busy day. Um, so we're going to be brief and we're going to share a little bit about what's new at Atomic Learning related to our Common Core product, our new Common Core product, and how we may be able to help teachers and districts implement the Common Core standards. With me today also is uh, Amanda Peters, who's a product development uh, director for uh, Atomic Learning on this project. So she's gonna take over halfway through and actually take us through the resource that we're gonna talk about. Atomic Learning is really, we provide technology training for teachers to help them integrate technology into the classroom. Uh, we're not here just telling you that we're going to align to the uh, Common Core standards, because we've already been aligned to, to Common Core standards. So uh, we're going to take it a, a little step further, but I just wanted to let you know what atomic learning is. And primarily, we've been helping for the last decade or more, helping teachers integrate technology into the classroom by providing technology tutorials on how to use certain uh, applications in the classroom. And we also take it a step further, not only technology training, but how to implement it into the classroom. Things like 21st century skills and building a blog and effective presentations is always a big one. One of the rules of effective presentations, don't show a lot of graphs or information, right? So I'd like to start with a lot of graphs and information about uh, Atomic. Now that doesn't really mean anything. I just wanted to show that and let you know that we have some training on also those effective technology and, and uh, effective presentations. What we're really th talking about here is Common Core and the standards. Have anybody heard of that? term before. You look around and your head does a 360. It's really interesting to see just about every vendor relating to Common Core standards. So we'd like to know, and we've been doing research ourselves, where are you guys at in terms of Common Core? Are you have no idea what we're doing yet with it? Are you already there, meaning you're implementing it maybe at the high school level? We're just kind of across the board. We're a little bit... Uh, we're a little different in every area. So we've noticed a lot of the challenges, obviously, are uh, how do I, how am I going to implement it and really make it effective by passing it down to the teachers and what the teachers need to, to teach. Some of the challenges that we've seen, even today, um, is just not only just what are the Common Core standards, but then how am I going to teach it from a teacher's perspective? So we got the administrator perspective, how am I going to plan for it? Teacher perspective, don't just give me the standards and tell me to teach, give me the resources. I need to know what resources I have available to teach to those standards. Um, and particularly with what we're talking about with atomic learning is the technology uh, component that's embedded into the Common Core standards. Familiar with those technology components? Uh, maybe the language arts eighth grade, you know, using the internet, uh, show me how you collaborate um, to create a project. Uh, we're focusing on, we have that focus on the technology component to uh, help teachers um, teach to the Common Core, but also with the resources that they need. And that's what we're here to show you a little bit about today. Make sense so far? I'm going to turn it over to Amanda who will have a microphone pretty soon. She's going to actually take you through this TPAC model. So one thing we've noticed with the Common Core Standards um, is that it really, we're starting to look at this, this TPAC model. Has anyone heard of TPAC before? So there's the pedagogical phases of teaching, right? And then there's the content knowledge or the curriculum. And then there's the technology curriculum. Not curriculum, but the technology component. And where they all meet in the middle there, that's the sweet spot. That's where kids are going to succeed. That's where teachers are going to see, succeed. That's where districts are going to succeed, where they all meet in the middle there. And so we really built our new product around getting curriculum departments, professional development departments, and technology departments to collaborate together to build a plan to help support these three different areas that have to come together in order to support the Common Core Standards. 
Go ahead on to the next slide there, Jeff. So we're developing a product called Atomic Tech Core. Um, it, what you're seeing right here is just a dashboard of what a, what a um, school leader might see. A school leader might be anyone on that curriculum committee, anyone on um, any principals or any people on the technology committee who are creating supports, who are planning to create supports for the district. And so we have districts who said, I want to plan an individual plan for every building. So some districts would do it that way. Others have said, I want to create a district-wide plan that's similar across all buildings. And so we built that into this planning tool as the ability to either plan at a district level, a building level, a grade level. Um, but this is just, just one piece of it. Go on to the next slide there, Jeff. What someone would do, one of those school leaders who are working on that plan, they would select create a plan from this drop down menu. Once you create a plan, you get to choose who's going to collaborate with you to build that plan. And then the group of teachers who are going to receive that plan. Once you've done that, then your plan list shows up there. Go ahead, keep going. Um, so if I'm creating supports for an English language arts plan, what we've done at Atomic Learning is pulled out all those standards that have a really strong tech component, and we've listed those over there on the side. And then we've given you some grade level bands to go in and create a plan for. So if you take a look at, for example, ninth and 10th grade, if you wanted to create a support plan for that area, we'd click in that cell, and up would come, this is our area to plan specifically for that standard. And what we've done at Atomic Learning is we're creating some professional development resources that help specifically with this grade level standard. And any of those resources would be populated in this, in this drop down list. They'd show up here in this drop down list. Um, and then the administrator has the ability to assign that professional development to those teachers. The other, we know that outside of atomic learning, you guys also have other resources and things that you use for prof professional development. So we've left this notes area for you to fill in some of those custom training needs that you have. Um, then we also are developing lessons that are a real model of how to integrate technology, how to really teach to those standards. And so we also um, have a lesson drop down menu here that allows districts to choose which lessons their teachers would be able to teach. Um, what happens with all this information, oh, and one more important piece here. We've talked to a lot of teachers and, and curriculum specialists who have said, I don't know what kind of technology my building has or my district has to support this particular standard. This one's pretty vague. Using technology, including the internet, leaves it wide open which is easy and hard at the same time because some people aren't, well, use technology, what technology? And so we also have this spot down here, available hardware and software, so that in your district you can write, you know, computer lab, or maybe it's the laptop cart, or it's the, the um, whatever, whatever it might be, districts can fill that in. Now the information from this plan goes directly to a teacher's lesson organizer. So when you created this plan, you said these are the teachers who are going to receive this plan. And then flip forward a few here, Jeff. One, one more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Is that it? <laughs> um, so, so, so what happens is that <laughs> um, that particular information goes directly into a lesson organizer for the teacher. So the teacher down one side, we're listing all the standards that that teacher needs to teach, and then they see all the professional development that they can take to help them teach that standard, and they see all the lessons that they can use in order to teach the, the, that particular standard that has that strong tech component in it.
we're trying to provide you with the uh, planning tool because what we're hearing, what we've heard, and what even what we're hearing yesterday and today is, yeah, we know with Common Core, we've got a line at Common Core, but how am I going to do it? How am I going to plan for it? What resources do I have, especially from the teachers? Because you get a few teachers who are standing around and they'll tell you, I, I know what Common Cores are, but give me the resources for it. Tell me what a model lesson looks like. Give me the resources. So we're creating this tool to help plan for that and give those resources that'll be brought br right down to the teacher level so that they can, they can see what the standard is, what resources I have available, maybe a sample lesson, what I've done in the past and so on. And that's something that's going to evolve over time as well. So you can create that kind of a library of resources for teaching to the Common Core. And that's really our, our real goal. Obviously our focus is on technology because that's where technology company, but we're more an education company. So we're trying to partner with you to help not only align to the Common Core standards, but give you the resources that will actually make you successful in using the Common Core standards. And that's our ultimate goal. Questions. I know we're very brief. It's very kind of high levelish overview. Um, again, lots of more information at Atomic Learning. Um, and also, we just wanted to thank Gilfus for uh, education, for providing us the space to at least share a little bit uh, with the attendees today. So I do appreciate your, your attendance today. I know it's a very busy day, so question. When it says online development, like what is it? Is it just online development or, or is it are people coming in? And the, the, the answer is, if I can answer it, is that it's both. It's very specific to your district, depending on the resources that you have. So there's a lot of planning that's involved, and, and uh, you put that information into this planning tool, Atomic Tech Core. So what's the, what's the uh, PD that, that you have available? Is it online resource like Atomic Learning? And then we would have that in there and a link to it. If it's a, uh, a PD day that you already had, maybe you videotaped it, uh, or a, another lesson that's created by a teacher, you can put that in there as well. So a lot of different resources you can put in there under that category. I don't know if you had anything to add to that, but. Yeah, so the, um, the training that Atomic Learning has put together is online training. And Atomic Learning, for those of you who aren't familiar, the whole, the name, Adam, we, we break things in, down into atom-sized chunks, and so they're one to three minute video tutorials is how, how our professional development works.